world? Yeah, boy! Snakeys, it's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another XT90 Heroes reaction for you guys. And of course, this is part two of the uh, Overload album first listen. If you've missed part one um, and you're watching it on the day of release, it's literally the last thing that I posted. Or if you're watching this in the future, you can go over and find it in my XT90 Heroes playlist on my channel, along with all my XT90, XT90 Heroes content. So this is part two of the album first listen. And the tracks that will be included are Crack in the Mirror, uh, Ghost and Xmas Christmas. I'm super super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer I will not be reading lyrics whilst listening to these songs. This is my first time hearing the song, so I want to concentrate on the music production and their vocals, which is my priority. The lyrics distract me from that, so I'll read them later in my own time. There are plenty of reactors out there who will do lyric readings. I'm just trying to vibe. If you want to vibe with me, then cool. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's continue the album first listen with the track Crack in the Mirror. Let's go. I love how that picked up there. so good as well this song uh, this album is about to be a 10 out of 10 bro really and truly i love that i feel like that song was very full um and i love the instrumentation in this one i don't know why but the 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 the, in, the instruments just sounded extra good like the bass in this and the drums also i loved all the breaks and the pauses within this like the dum, 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 dum. like i loved it was quite a little bit choppy also i loved I love the piano moment we had for the bridge. Uh, like I was saying, the whole instrument was fantastic, but like the piano was intense and I loved it. That was brilliant, man. This album was so good. The only problem I have with that one was a bit short. It was a little bit short. 
Let's go to the next one. Okay, let's go. Now we have the track Ghost. This track is also short. What the hell? Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Is this like French? It's gonna be, is this supposed to be giving me French? Yeah, this song sounds like France. <laughs> I can't explain it, this sounds French. brilliant as well again I feel like that was quite experimental it was quite a, an unusual unusual fusion of sounds well to me personally immediately I was like this is because it's giving me France I think that might have been an accordion that's why it sounded like an accordion at the start um, it also sounded old it sounded like an old movie it was giving me old maybe like an old French movie that sort of vibe but then like in the pre-chorus that little build-up moment it almost sounded like a reggaeton type of beat like the tempo almost which I found really really interesting um, I again love the melodies and also I love the layering of the um, the whistle and the that the the humming and the whistling in the chorus like I love that layering it was fantastic this other man is about to be a 10 out of 10 for me one more track let's go okay guys let's go first of all apologies if you can hear some banging uh, they're doing like they're building something in the garden next to I don't even know apologies Let's go. Dun, dun. Oh, I love that ambient that you have to go back down. Cork is looking all day low. Bet to keep him up, bet to see the number. Oh, the garden temperature. Show me as you go, did I get it down? Oh yeah. 
probably a 10 out of 10 album for me because I love that song as well that was absolutely brilliant again fantastic experimental fusion of sound I would have liked if they'd played with the Fender Rhodes a little bit more um, it, the Fender Rhodes that came in in the pre-chorus if you didn't know the Fender Rhodes is my favorite instrument if you don't know what the Fender Rhodes is it's an electric piano and um, so instead of strings uh, like a normal piano inside it has like metal rods and it creates this really pretty sound. Anytime I hear Fender Rhodes, I like melt. Um, and so it was so nice in that pre-chorus. I would have loved the pre-chorus to have been a little bit longer. Or oh, the only thing I found dis disappointing about that song was the bridge. I feel like we had a nice switch up, but one, it wasn't long enough. And again, I would have liked to have brought in the use of the Fender Rhodes in there. Um, also, the, the combination of the Fender Rhodes and the guitar that was in the pre-chorus. Just those two sounds together was magnificent and their vocals, like that whole part was brilliant. I really do wish the pre-chorus was longer and we had that same exact vibe in the in the bridge. Like I, I wish they would have played with that a little bit more, but it's fine. I also love the melodies in the B chorus and that. Um, it would have been my favorite. I feel like it would have been my favorite if they'd used the Fender Rhodes just a little, a little bit more. But I think I'm gonna stick with Lunatic. Poss well, it was gonna be Z, 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 Z. But I think it's lunatic, just simply because of that post chorus moment. It would have been, it would have been Xmas, Christmas, but I don't know. It might change. We'll see. Let me know which track your, it, let me know which track is your favorite in the comments. I will see you guys soon, probably for an extinary, extinary heroes catch up with all the content they're going to be posting from this comeback. And yeah, that's it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Go to follow me on Instagram, guys. Go to follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. Oh.